Haram Hamparan is the executive director of the Armenian National Committee of America. Haram, you are asking the U.S. Uh, government to protect Christians in the Middle East. Uh, what are some of the ways the U.S. can do that? We like to see the United States step up the, the military intervention against ISIS forces that are targeting uh, Christians and other civilian populations. We like to see uh, our government push back against uh, Turkey, which we feel has used uh, the cover of a war against ISIS to actually uh, attack uh, the Kurds and other minority populations. And finally, we think we can uh, do better on the delivery of aid. Uh, there are gaps in the delivery of aid that have left uh, uh, very at-risk populations uh, vulnerable, and many of those uh, populations are, are Christians. Like I say, you've been talking about this issue for a while. Are you getting any support from Congress? We sure are. Uh, Congressman Fortenberry and Congressman Eshoo just introduced legislation uh, that would define what is happening against the Christians in the Middle East as a genocide, which it is. Uh, it's, a, it's an intentional effort, a systematic effort to destroy people uh, based on their faith, and that, that's genocide. So we're, that legislation was just introduced this week. Uh, we're eager to see that move forward. Uh, tell me more specifically about the Armenian community in the Middle East and their plight. The Armenians have um, lived throughout the Middle East for, for centuries. Uh, um, the Armenian presence in, in our homeland goes back about 4,000 years, but we also uh, have Armenian populations in Lebanon, Iraq, Egypt, and, and throughout um, the region. Uh, we've come under attack along with many other uh, Christians uh, in recent years. Uh, ISIS and, and other uh, forces of intolerance have, have targeted uh, Armenians. Uh, we're doing what we can in, in solidarity with other Christian groups to, to, to see if we can sort of rally the world to the defense of the Christian presence in the Middle East. And it's why you're here in town this week. You're here for the In Defense of Christian Summit. Can you give us a, a snapshot of what you've seen and heard this week? Uh, we've seen tremendous solidarity among uh, uh, the, the Christian community uh, for the plight of our, our countrymen uh, um, uh, back in, in the homeland, back in, in the old country. Uh, we know that uh, uh, Pope Francis has spoken very, very powerfully about the Armenian genocide, and he has uh, defined what's happening there today. Uh, as genocide. We see support from the evangelical community, uh, from the, the Orthodox community, the, the, the Catholic community. There's been, what I've noticed is strong solidarity, uh, growing awareness among American politicians. Uh, the, the, the challenge we face is that so often these things are dealt with at the level of politics. The genocide is a moral issue. We need to elevate the discourse to uh, the moral imperative that this is. Why do you think it's so important that Christians stay in the Middle East as opposed to just simply fleeing? Because we're part of the rich tapestry uh, of that part of the world. Uh, and and the, for so much of the history of that part of the world, the, the various peoples of the region have, have worked closely together. Uh, we've had differences, but we've been able to kind of um, uh, to build on those differences and to, and to make a richer society for it. I think that a uh, Middle East without Christians would be um, a less safe place, a less... Uh, diverse place, and I think ultimately a more dangerous place. I'm sure it's something that we wouldn't want to imagine, so obviously it's an important cause that you continue to advocate for. Aram Hamparan, the executive director of the Armenian National Committee of America, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you.